Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the Mac Attack. Um, just want to talk to you a bit today about the college football playoff expansion. Just a little bit of my own opinions and stuff. Um, so the athletic directors and Jack Swarbrick from Notre Dame have decided to hold off talks for another month uh, till December 1st as far as expansion of the college football playoff goes. Uh, the talks right now are, is it, is it going to be eight teams? Is it going to be 12 teams? Uh, eight teams would be ideal because I don't think anybody outside the top eight uh, will end up winning it. That's just my opinion and just what I've seen in college football over the years. Outside of the top eight, you're, you're not going to find a champion, really. So uh, the 12-team playoff probably be similar to the NFL style where the uh, top four teams get a bye. You know, two, well, in the NFL, it's two from the AFC, two from the NFC. Whereas in college football, when the committee selects, the college football playoff committee selects their top 12, those nine through 12 teams, I'm sorry, those one through four teams would get the bye and those five through 12 would be seated against each other appropriately. Um... 12 teams would be great. I think it, it gives everybody a chance, but it, I don't think it's going to be what everybody thinks it's going to be. There are 10 conferences in college football. I don't think they're going to put all 10 conference champions in there just because, you know, the playoffs committee is going to select the top 12, who they think are the 12 best teams in college football. And unfortunately, that does not include every conference champion. You know, there's going to be a conference that have two or three teams in the playoffs, maybe four. Someone like the SEC, uh, maybe even the big, as strong as the Big Ten is this year. You know, you can see three or four teams from one conference in the playoffs. That's just what we're looking at, and it's going to make a lot of people angry no matter what. So I think an eight-team playoff is ideal. Uh, it includes most of your major conference champions uh, and a few like Cincinnati. Um, so Cincinnati right now, they're number six. They're kind of on the outside of the playoff bubble. And honestly, it's just, I think it's a, it's not a fix, but I think the committee did it for a reason, just to see if maybe they stumble in one of these conference games to a lesser opponent uh, in these last four games. I think if they win out, somebody ahead of them is bound to lose Cincinnati's going to find themselves in the playoffs if they, if they win out. Uh, so I, I would not worry if I were Cincinnati or anybody else. I think there's just a lot of noise happening right now because they're on the outside looking in. But if they just take care of business, someone ahead of them loses, they're going to find themselves right in the mix. Do I think they're better than three teams ahead of them? No, I don't. I, I think they're right where they need to be because I, I do think Alabama's better. I think Michigan State's better, and I think Ohio State's better. Uh, and obviously Georgia at number one. There's no arguing that. Georgia's the best team in the country right now. So I'm not going to get into that. Uh, where should Alabama be? I don't know. Uh, I haven't. I've, I usually watch a lot of their games. I've watched a few this year. Uh, I've watched some Michigan State. Not enough to know about them, but I know they have the probably the best running back in America right now in Kenneth Walker. Ohio State, they're looking like Ohio State should. Um, oh, I forgot about Oregon. Uh, so I think Oregon's a very tough team as well, um, and I think they're ranked where they should be, ahead of Ohio State uh, because they beat them head-to-head. -head. So I don't think Cincinnati's better than Oregon even. So, But I think they're right where they need to be. Um, they have a top-10 win this year against Notre Dame. And they never trailed in that game. So I don't think they're ranked unfairly. I think they're where they should be. Um, going forward, I think, like I said, I, I, I think Georgia is by far the best team in the country. From a defensive standpoint, I, I just don't see anybody stopping them. Maybe Alabama in the SEC championship because of that high-powered offense. But college football is just a little weird this year. I mean – the Big Ten at one point had Iowa, number two. And all of a sudden they've lost a few games. Now they're, I don't even know if they're in the rankings right now. I'd have to look. Um, but uh, 
and then Penn State. Penn State's just had some tough losses. They're playing good teams. There's no other way to put it. Uh, they've dropped off. Uh, Coastal Carolina, they were like everybody's Cinderella. Well, they stumbled a little bit, uh, lost to Appalachian State, and now they're finding themselves down towards the bottom of the top 25. They're still a good football team, just, you know, they're not a top tier. Uh, you know, they're in college basketball, they can be considered like a mid major. So, but they're doing all right. Um, and they'll, they'll make a decent bowl game. Uh, that program is going to continue to grow. The Sun Belt Conference right now is growing. Southern Miss is left. Uh, they're going to leave Conference USA and join the Sun Belt, which I think Conference USA has gone been going downhill for a little while anyway, with Cincinnati leaving a few years ago, um, and Tulane, other teams. So I think Confer eventually Conference USA is going to either – Dissolve. They're going to end up maybe pulling in some of those independent teams. Uh, Army's already given it a shot with Conference USA once. I don't see them joining. Uh, if anybody, they'll end up joining the American Conference to be in there with Navy. You know, their traditional end-of-the-year rival. So, we'll see what happens. But that's all I have for today. Um... I'll be heading to the Pitt Duke game tomorrow with my father-in-law and my my two youngest boys. So uh, maybe I'll go live from the game and y'all get to see Kenny Pickett up close and personal. Uh, he's right now. I would love to see him win the Heisman. I just think Kenneth Walker's case is too strong. Although all the experts have Bryce Young ahead of everybody, uh, he's he's a good quarterback. But I think Kenny Pickett's a better quarterback. And I think Kenneth Walker right now is the favorite. Should be the favorite. But that's all for today, um, and maybe I'll go live tomorrow. We'll see. All right, have a good Friday.